Hi. Underwear less Sam Bell here, but I'm wearing pants. I'm only wearing pants. I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm only wearing pants. No socks either. It is 7.07. .07. I have been up since like 2 p.m. and it's 7 a.m. So like, so I've been up since yesterday, but now it's today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking find a pen. I had a pen in here. I haven't been able to find it. And I am dumbfounded at how I am not able to find a fucking pen. My number one theorem is that I put it like downstairs and just forgot. And uh, my number one theorem is also my only theorem. Anyways, enough rambling. Why am I making this video? Why are you watching my fucking naked body? We're gonna cook again. Remember that cooking show I did? I did one episode of it. I got Guy to edit it. And I made a weird thing. And then I made a concoctions thing. And that was just like a, a, a silly horror kind of thing that I now hate. Because I think some people thought I was genuinely like having a breakdown. But like I wasn't. So just so you know. I was okay. Thir third thing. I, I want to do more cooking things. But maybe I'll do some regular food too. But I'll probably fuck it up somehow. You know what? I don't know where my pen is. I don't know where my penis. So we're gonna go downstairs. Um, as previously stated, the time is like uh, 7 11 now. And I've turned on the bright LED lights in my kitchen. Uh, there's a whole fucking chicken in a crock pot. I was not told about this, but that's fine. I don't need to be told about these things. I'm going to find food. I decided to make my famous gourmet meal. But I might add a little twist to it. Because I don't think I have any cans of chili left. And I don't know why. Because I should have like two. Okay. We're gonna cook. Gourmet craft dinner. Or if you're in the States, maybe some other places, I don't know. It's known as Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. I'm not sure how similar or the same these things are, but generally, uh, you're gonna wanna get the box version, because the little cup versions taste like shit. You're gonna wanna get a nice big microwave bowl. I've used this on like everything, and I just realized it says no stove top or boiler, but it doesn't say anything about the microwave, so. I mean, it should work. Kraft Dinner is probably the reason why I weigh like, over 200 pounds. Kraft Dinner, the cheese sauce in Kraft Dinner has a very special taste. And also, for you crazy Americans, your noodles are mostly gonna look like this. We get the odd one. But our noodles are more akin to something like this. It's a little more straight. Guy, you can edit that out of the video. I don't know if that's actually an interesting fact or not. Craft Dinner uh, cheese sauce packet. We actually don't need this right now, so I don't know why I'm shaking it up. Next thing you want to you want to do is get hot water. Oh, that's way too big. Let's see if I have a smaller measuring cup. Okay, here's a big ass measuring cup thing. Whatever they call the I I don't know why I can't remember. Uh, yeah, this one goes up to four cups. I usually use one that goes up to two. So like there. But uh, anyways, it needs one and three quarter cups, so let's go. We have a slow ass hot water heater, so we need to wait for the hot water to warm up. While I wait for the hot water to warm up, I'm going to explain what else we're going to do. Um, so usually I put a can of stag chili in there. It's cheap chili that it 
comes out of a fucking can, but when you mix it with Kraft Dinner, and also put hot dogs in it, it sounds fucking disgusting, but it's actually greasy and delicious, and so not good for you. But if you're like a kid that has no money, then it's a good meal. Okay, our water is hot. Now we need to fill up the thing. And that should be good enough. We're gonna turn this around so I can see it. For now, we're gonna grab the hot dog part. Uh, now I've been told to use juicy jumbos. If I like use hot dogs in the house. My parents got Red Hots, which are the smaller ones. And uh, they said they want to use them. So I get to use the big ones. And these are also apparently all beef. I don't know. I, I prefer pork, but whatever. That's probably more than enough. And it all pours in there nice and smooth. And yeah, we got it. I don't know why one and three quarter cups is like the specific measurement. I don't know why it's like two cups or like one and a half or whatever. It's just one and three quarters is what the measurement is. So I try to be as accurate as possible. And uh, you just want to put it in the microwave for nine minutes. I'm going to tell you some science shit. Not science, but uh, some helpful tip shit. Microwave craft dinner is way better than oven craft dinner. It's quicker to make. And I don't know why, it just has a fucking different taste to it when you do it in the microwave. I think it's something to do with the melting of the butter at that stage, so maybe the noodle part is fine, but I don't know. But I've always thought it was better when you do it in the microwave. I'm gonna take it out at six and three, so three minute intervals, if you care. And now it's probably gonna sound like shit, so I'm gonna bring this over here. And we're going to set the camera up right under the coffee maker. Perfect. Now, we have our nice little tray of butter. And it says, uh, one, one and a half tablespoon, I think? I don't know. Like, that's, that's, that's pretty good. It looks like a lot. It's not too much. Although, the saying is true with butter that a little does go a long way. Another cooking tip. If you want to reuse your knives, run them under the hot water that you already had. For like a, a bit. I always do that. I don't know if that's unsanitary. Again, I'm not like ultra professional 1000 here. I'm just showing you how to make a piece of shit. Now that we've got the butter prepared, I'll get the milk. This this part's just basically pouring milk into the thing that we just used. If you don't know how to pour milk, I suggest you see a doctor. I'll bring the thing over here because I'm so nice. And I think this is a new milk thing, so we're gonna have to open it. Oh no, it's not new. Just up to that line. Yeah, perfect. All right. Uh, now I guess we can get the hot dogs ready. I'm gonna use a bigger plate. You can use a smaller plate. We are getting very close to our six minute interval, but I'm gonna open this pack. I'm gonna open the pack of hot dogs, and then we will await further instruction. All right. When the six minute interval is reached, you just kind of get your spoon in the microwave. See this? See this? Just kind of get your spoon in there. Just stir it until it's all very loose. Like all the noodles feel loose and free. And there you go. Okay, back to the hot dogs. Now, uh, first couple times I made this, I used like the whole pack. It's a bad idea, don't ever do that. You're only gonna wanna use maybe two, and I, I mean, if that's not enough, we can just take one more, but like, Okay, well, if you don't know how to fucking cut a hot dog, you're stupid. Just, just cut it like, like, not like this, but like, just chomp down on it with your butter knife. Um, because the meat is like, uh, it's not like super consistent. Because essentially it's just like a pack of like, a bunch of different kind of meats. Like, when, when, you, when you're eating hot dog, you gotta realize, you're not eating like straight beef, right? Like, this is like parts, very different parts of beef that they've like blended essentially into a puree and then like cooked sort of which is why it's like okay to eat raw hot dogs pretty much I mean some people still say that that's not okay I think it's fine again we are very close to reaching our three minute interval you're going to do the same thing that I did at the six minute interval but I'm going to cut these hot dogs slightly faster uh, because I can alright just uh, do it again. Do the same thing you just did. 
but again. Uh, this time the noodles will feel a little looser, like already, but just make sure that everything is good and nice and soft. Start it back up again. Uh, these hot dog pieces, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be enough. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. Uh, uh, you know what? Because of my alternative idea, I'm, I'm just going to put in one more. Normally, I wouldn't do this because I, I do, like, sort of watch my health. I don't know. I'm probably going to die. Like, I, I, I don't eat all the time. You know? I'm, and uh, I don't have, like, crises about it. I just, I know, I'm like, I'm, I'm very conscious of like what I eat, but I, I try to manage it. I manage it, I get exercise every so often, you know, I'm trying to stay, you know, at a decent level. Again, I'm not, I'm not a fucking chef in any sense. I, I don't think I'll ever be considered a fucking chef. I, I will look back on this video if I am considered a chef. I will just laugh at my comment, I guess. And like all this unsanitary, like I, I'm aware that doing the knife in hot water shit, I'm aware of how unsanitary that is. And also I just figured out that I have two knives, so I just, I use two knives. That's fucking, that's lovely. Anyways, our craft dinner is partially done. Let's come back to the microwave. Now, I'm gonna grab this with, uh, just like gloves because it's gonna be fucking hot and I don't want to pull a Stephen Reed and if you get that reference you will you'll know what I mean anyways you're gonna melt the butter in there for like 25 seconds now and I'm gonna put the scissors back in the place where they were you know what? I should have used half of that but like I, I don't know what I would have done with the other half of that hot dog so now for my uh, chili substitute I'm going to put something in there that's even more hot than chili and of course that is Samyang ramen if you're unaware of Sam Yang's existence, uh, they are a South Korean instant noodle company, and uh, they are notorious for their very, very, very fucking spicy ramen, which I do enjoy. Uh, I have the curry version, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's pretty fucking good. So I think it might be a good, uh, might be a good thing to put in here. Anyways, put your melted butter in here. You don't want to maybe use your spoon and scoop some of it out because it butter with how it is it likes to stick and just wash your bowl out always remember if you have a butter bowl wash the butter bowl otherwise it'll stick like a motherfucker especially for hand washing we don't hand wash but if you are hand washing because a lot of like college kids won't have like fucking dishwashers in the dorm or whatever if you're hand washing then it's gonna fucking kill you. So yeah, don't do that. Do this with milk as well. Pretty much any dairy product, you're gonna wanna wash it like after you. That's that's a, de a genuine cooking tip, I think, right there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the hot dogs in, although we're not gonna put them in this yet, just because. Uh, so I'm like only semi-worried about how this is gonna turn out. Like this could turn out like shit, but it could be fine. Another thing, when you're making craft dinner, like plug your nose when the or like just try to stop like breathing through the nose or like breathing at all. Just stop breathing when you're doing that because it smells fucking horrendous, at least to me. I don't know if this applies to anyone else. I fucking hate the smell of that. It just, it absolutely fucking ruins like life. You know what? I'm gonna hope that if I put it in there, I won't get in trouble. So uh, we have a lot of juice in that kettle. So we're gonna turn it on. Yes, uh, so I make my ramen, I make it in the kettle, and uh, I uh, steam it in a bowl instead of doing it the normal way that most people do. You can do it whatever way you fucking like, man. I'm just going to show you how I would prepare the ramen to put it in this afterwards. Anyways, here's your craft uh, dinner tip. You want to shake this pack. This is, this is the one I was mentioning from earlier. You're going to want to shake this pack so it's like all the sauce is down here sauce it's like the, just the mix that lovely it's like an orangey kind of thing I, I see some thing on this it says it's now cheesier I think that's bullshit because like I, I tried it like just a thing pretty recently and it did not taste any different than any other craft dinner I've had anyways you're gonna want to stir this pretty well until like every fucking little bit of it is uh, 
just nice and orange and cheesy smelling and uh, maybe you can do a taste test I mean that's not gonna hurt no one now I think I may have overloaded on the milk because I'm seeing it's very creamy and for what I'm trying to accomplish here that's not really something I'm like going for so again I have no idea how this is actually gonna taste well, like, I, I, I know how it would taste with chili, which is how I usually make it, but, like, I don't have any chili on hand. So, putting curry ramen in there, it's it's going to be a new uh, flavor experience for me. A new flavor experience, if you will. Okay. Uh, I didn't even set the fucking hot dog. Okay, let's, let's go 1 minute 30. Should be fine for those hot dogs. While we're waiting on the hot dogs, I'll get the noodles prepared. So I have to like do this and then a lot of people are gonna hate me for doing this. Fuck you. Okay. And in there is these two packets. Now uh, I like to put my veggie packet in. Some people put it in after. I, I think you put it in with the steam steaming thing, at least how I do it. Put it in there with it and uh, makes all the veggies kind of flare up. And as for the sauce, we won't put that in there right now. We're gonna put that in later. But it's gonna help us. Okay, looks like our hot dogs are, yeah, those are fun. Woo! Hot. But, they taste pretty good. So, now I'm going to uh, test this craft dinner. Tastes like craft dinner. Actually, I don't know. I'm tasting a little less cheese. Again, I think this is because of the milk. I think I put too much fucking milk. This is why I used the smaller measuring cup. But someone else used it. It wasn't me. So... While we're waiting on the kettle, it's probably incredibly loud, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna get some water. That's a cup of water. You two are locked indoors because of COVID. I hope you, at some point in your time, appreciate the fine art of cooking because uh, I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Whether, whether you order out or you do it at home, our hot dogs are in. I was going to put them in after, but I think what, because of the craft dinner, turned out a little too fucking creamy. Uh, I think it'll make it a little more consistent with the oils and the fucking hot dogs. Again, if you're on like a diet or something, please don't try this. This is not good for you. See that sound? Yes, yes. Even just this crap during a hot dog, great meal on its own. So we're either about to make an already great, like, quick, cheap meal, we're gonna try a great cheap meal into quite possibly a crock of shit. I'm gonna be ladling like most of the broth out and then putting the sauce in and then pouring that into here. Because um, uh, if it gets too watery, it's gonna taste like shit. So obviously I don't want it to taste like shit. You don't want it to taste like shit. Nobody wants it to taste like shit. And uh, the question I'm probably gonna hear a lot of is why don't you just put the sauce in there? That's a waste of fucking noodles, man, is what I say. I don't have any like, I mean, I guess I could like get like a fucking bouillon cube or something and that'd probably be good, like it here. Probably like use one of that, one of that. Probably use one of those and like just put it in there. But that shit, it might be good. But why not just have some extra fucking noodles in it with that? If you don't like it, fuck you, motherfucker. I think it's cake mix. Maybe I should make a cake on it. Oh, that would be a bad idea, actually. Oatmeal. I could have made this. I could have had it for breakfast or something. I, I used to, like, have chocolate chip oatmeal every morning. Uh, one day I got sick of it, and I haven't had oatmeal since. I just realized I never set a timer on the microwave for the steaming of the noodles, because I'm a dummy. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm eating a bit of this because I'm starting to worry now. So I'm trying to savor what I have. Um. Here's 
a, here's a great cooking tip. Don't, don't drop plastic ladles on the floor. It didn't break or anything, but like, sh shouldn't, shouldn't do that. I wish I knew when I put that ramen in the fucking bowl and then I put a plate on it. Uh, if anyone can give me some, like, sleep tips in the comments, I would genuinely appreciate this. Um, today, March 31st, as, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned it earlier, again, I'm fucking, like, uh, I, I don't, I don't really know what's going on, <laughs> and I'm, I'm probably gonna fall asleep after filming this or something, but if anyone can give me, like, some tips on how to sleep, because I haven't been, like, getting, uh, sleep at all like uh i don't i don't feel too tired at the same time i do it's like i'm in between right now but yeah if anyone can give me like tips on how to just sleep and be normal do not hesitate leave a comment i think this has been in there for a little more than five minutes now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna dry the bottom of your plate off and it's not gonna like smell like anything weird if you haven't put the shit in there yet which i mean shouldn't have and then when I say the shit, I mean the sauce. That was going to be very hot, so you're going to want to take it over to the sink. And now I need to set up the camera in a different location. Okay. We've got our soup over here. I'm going to use our knife to stir. But first, of course, we're going to take the uh, some of the water out. The noodles, the little scraps of noodles, are not something I care as much about, so they can go. W w what do you say? They're like a like a once in a lifetime opportunity, but you know, more than once. If you have it more than once, anyway. I've had this uh, two other packs of it now, and I'm planning on giving one to a friend anyway. So it's very very little by little process, but if it works, it fucking works. So at this point, we're gonna add the uh, sauce mix. Again, you can do the same thing, although it's not going to make too much of a difference. It's probably going to get on your fingers. You just pour all that red fucking death sauce out. I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to stir up with a fucking fork. But that's not going to do. Yeah, so we got it pretty mixed up in there now. Looks like uh, some nice brown spaghetti. And, um,. Now put it in here. And now, just in case this is a fucking disaster, because again, I'm worried that it's going to be. One last final toast. That's bad luck already. Hmm. Okay. Two completely different fucking things. Going into one. This is still very hot. I can't wait for 20 years from now. It's gonna be revealed that all Samyang products are like fucking extreme carcinogens. Maybe, maybe it'll have been worth it. Maybe. Was it worth it to get dick cancer from eating ramen and crap dinner and fucking hot dogs? Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Sam? This is, this is me mocking myself. I'm essentially mocking myself right now. I don't even fucking begin to know how to mix this shit together. I should have just put the fucking sauce in there and used the fucking veggies and thing. I don't know. You know what? It's okay. This this looks like hell. This looks like hell. It, it looks, looks like, like I am about to eat hell. I'm trying to make sure every part is mixed up because there's some sides and ends here that aren't just aren't properly uh, convinced. Because of the redness of the sauce, similarly to chili, the Kraft Dinner cheese sauce has also turned red. So I mean, we got that similarity, but is the rest of it going to be any similar? And also, what the fuck is this piece of shit going to taste like? That's that's good. Let's bring it over to the eating section. Mm. Now, I've grabbed a nice glass of milk. Because I uh, don't know how fucking spicy this might be. 
Anyways, I'm going to try and get a little bit of scoop of everything. Some of the ramen, some of the hot dog, and some of the craft dinner. Yep, I got everything. Bottoms up. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That's not that bad. The curry goes really well with the cheesiness of the craft dinner. And the hot dogs are, well, they're meat, so it's going to obviously act well with the ramen. Really am surprised by that. And it's very, very good. This proves that sometimes making strange mixtures in the kitchen, while sometimes can be a horrible fucking mistake, can sometimes be a strange miracle. And yes, as I thought... Um, the dairy does cancel out most of the spiciness, but some of it's still there. Definitely. As I was making it, I felt more and more like this isn't going to go well together, right? Because it's kind of a weird thing to put together. Ramen, classic staple of Asian culture and American and Canadian culture, to be honest. Well, that's a white kid's um, buy ramen. Back in the day, and to today. And there's a hot dog on the floor now. And no, it is not salvageable. It fell right into a pile of dog hair, so... Yes, I did wash my fucking hands before this shut up. I don't know why. It feels like it shouldn't work. But it works. Oh, I mean, I think that's it. Do I really have to say anymore? I fucking... I made something. It's kind of a mystery. Ended up being good. Maybe one day if this fucking show blows up, I'll show you to make the chili version. The regular one. Thanks for joining me on a, a new food journey. It's been quite interesting. Uh, you can make that. That'd cost you about like mm, a one pack of Samyang. Three bucks craft dinner is gonna be like a buck fifty. And your hot dogs, well, I'm gonna average it out at maybe like four bucks. So that's a quick, like, pretty much $10 meal. Yeah, if you're low on money, got like a tenner to spend, uh, go buy that shit at the store. Uh, the Sam Yang shit you might not be able to find. Uh, look, a lot, of, uh, a lot of smaller towns now are starting to get. Uh, Chinese uh, or Asian in general markets, but uh, notably uh, Chinese markets have been popping up specifically. Generally, you'll be able to find lots of different kinds of ramen there, and uh, you can even find the other shit there too. I mean, yeah, just so go to an Asian market and uh, get some of that shit. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, um, good for you. Uh, and I'll be making more of this, maybe. Because it's a good way for me to deal with myself. <laughs> and uh, appreciate myself somehow. And, uh, I mean, other people like the cooking shit I already did. So, yeah. I mean, if that's popular, I'll fucking milk it as long as I can. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.
Thank you. 